Okay guys, welcome back to another video where today we have some stuff. And I also have a list of operating systems here that we're going to be installing one of them on this 500 gigabyte hard drive. So let's look through the list. Okay, so we've got Windows 7. Eh, too boring. Uh, not supported, Windows XP. React OS, tried it, didn't work either. Mac OS 10, too hard. Linux, done it before. Remix OS, I don't know a lot about. <laughs> Windows Me. Well, let's do it. We're going to be installing Windows Me on a 500 gigabyte hard drive with this disk. Don't make illegal copies, fool. All right, let's pop it in. Ow. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hard drive, hard drive. Go in the computer. Mm. Boot it up. Eject the drive, eject the drive. Yeah. We're going to head, go press F12, F12. One time boot menu. Oh yeah. There it goes. There's Windows Me. Just burned it. Yeah. Don't make illegal copies, fool. Okay. Okay, guys. So yes, we are going to be installing Windows Me on a 500 gigabyte hard drive. Now, I did a video on Windows Vista, and in that video, I said it was the worst OS ever. Well, in the time of making that video, I forgot Windows Me existed. So, yeah. Oh, I'll be amazed if it even boots. And if it boots, I'll also be kind of sad. Yep, here we go. Is it gonna work? Well... It's not doing anything. Great. Fantastic. Okay guys, so just to give you a little update, we are now installing DOS. Because I am trying to see if I can use DOS, and then go through DOS, and enter the setup for Windows Me, and see if we can use that to get the startup working. Or setup working, not startup. Okay, so here we are, one DOS install later. Now, I just decided if we can't get me to install, I have something else here which we'll try to get installed. Windows. Windows 95. Yay. All right. Let's go over to the D drive. Directory. Here we go. Spin it up. Okay. So, stuff loaded. So, let's go set up. Okay. Yay! Never been so happy to see scan disk. This is Windows ME. Okay, right now. This isn't the Windows 95 disk. The, the, the Windows 95 disk is still here. I can't believe this because I've never... No, oh, did I just scratch the disk? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay. I, I've never gotten Windows ME on anything before, so this is going to be an awful, but also fantastic experience. If it actually works. So once the stupid scan disk, which scan disk, once it's done, I'll be right back. You guys might not be able to hear me very well over the incessant drive clicking, but here, if I adjust the camera... If I just the, just the camera, there we go. You look at the top. It's Windows ME. It started up. Scan just took forever, but we're here. Seriously though, guys, this is insane. I've I've I don't even know. It's it's me. I mean, it's Windows me. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life anymore. I'm installing Windows me. On a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So once setup actually starts and this setup preparing thing goes away, we will continue. Okay, guys. Well, I guess I got a little bit too excited because, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me. Well, um, it kind of doesn't want to. Oh no! 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 This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. No. No, don't start into the me setup. Okay, so what I was saying there though 
was, um, I think I got a little too excited too quickly because it is not actually working. Like, it just freezes up eventually. So, I'm going to look up right now if you can, um, skip scan disk. Because it seems like the whole scan disk thing might be messing it up. Okay, well, um, yeah. So, I, I put in a Windows 95 disk. And Lord behold, it works! And I was able to skip ScanDisk on here, and I tried skipping ScanDisk on the Windows Me, and it wouldn't work. So I guess, after I tried all that time, got super excited, it was all for nothing. I guess I guess we're not installing Me today. I'm never, they're, they're like, never gonna get to try out Me. I'm never gonna get to do it. So this is, this computer is gonna run Windows 95. That, that, that's what we're determining. Still. 500 gigabytes of space for Windows 95 is insane. Now, sometime though, I might make a video upgrading this to 98, because I don't know. I mean, maybe, actually, now that I think of it, maybe me will let me upgrade the copy of 95. It's possible. We can try it once 95 is installed. So, um, I'll wait for the installer to do its crap and then. I'll be back. Okay, so here's the end user license agreement, which is, uh, how long ago was 95? Uh, 20... Well, it was... What? This thing just freaked out. I don't know what it's doing. Um... Now I have to deal with this. I even followed their own instructions to get this working. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna boot without drivers. Without drivers, here. So let it without drivers so we don't have to worry about anything. Let's just head over to the CD drive and let's retry. Come on, load, load, load. Okay, there we go. So now, let me go back over to the um, website for it, and it says to run setup slash, uh, what is it, n m slash is. Okay, so once that's done, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got it further than that now that I booted without drivers, and also, if you guys need a product ID for Windows 95, there it is. I'm giving it to you because it's not internet registered, so it doesn't matter how many people use it. So there it is. Now I need to type that in. Um, I'll just do that off camera. I'll get the setup, and once the setup is done, I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's the most crucial part. We need to see if it works. I'm going to press enter. Oh. Okay. There isn't a floppy disk drive in this because if you guys haven't noticed, this computer's too new to have... A floppy drive there that shows you how new it is it's from around I think this is a 2008 computer okay we want F1 and yeah that's working so I think it was that driver thing that was messing up me too so I actually put it in here just for now it's now safe to turn off your computer okay so I think once we're done booting into that and making sure it works, we're going to try installing me again with the same driver thingers. The same driver... I don't know what it's called. The same... Um, excuse me. The same... Starting Windows 95. Is it just going to start Windows 95 and not boot into DOS? Um... Alright, well, um, yeah. So, doesn't look like, uh, Windows 95 is working. But, maybe we can use the same, uh, hack thing to... Okay, so. React OS... What? Yeah. So apparently there's stuff from React OS on here. Well, you know what? 
since it won't actually boot into FreeDOS again, now it's just booting into the command prompt, you know what we're going to have to do? Reinstall DOS, and then we're going to try to get me on here after we reinstall FreeDOS by going into the safe mode thingy. Who this is getting insane. Okay guys, so now we are booting into the React OS CD. And that is because we need something that can format the drive because I need to be able to format the drive so that I can reinstall the operating system without it going over everything else and still having everything else installed. So now what we need to do is th is trick it into thinking we are going to install React OS when indeed we just need to do that. Format. Set up on that format. There we go. It's now formatted. Now, now, shut down. Shut down. Okay, there. Now it's done. Okay. So now we need to open the drive. F12 it. So we go into the boot manager. Skip that. Okay, now we need to take the free DOS disk. Put that in there. Boot it up. And here we go. So let's install that and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so free DOS is now done installing. And we are back here at the menu. Here's the FreeDOS disk. We don't need it anymore. Let's load FreeDOS without drivers. There we go. That was really fast. It's going faster now for some reason. Now, oh, also, I forgot to mention. While I was off camera, I actually downgraded the RAM. It was at 3 gigs. I took it all the way down to 512 megs because I figured, why not? Because it might be messing itself up. Is it... Um, okay. I guess fail then. Um. It's, it's not working. Uh, okay, so we can go to C. If we directory, it's not very much. Um. Well, let's try restarting it. Maybe it's because there's no drivers that it's not working now. Wait, I don't know why I did that. I need internal hard drive. Oh, no. I went to all the way to the bottom. No wonder. Because the the bottom one, I don't know what, what it does. Okay, here. So now if we go to D, aha. Retry that. There we go. We fixed it. Now let's run setup. I the other the other commands don't work for the me setup for some reason. So let's go ahead. No oh, scan disk again. Okay then. Guess I'll be back once scan disk is done for like the third time, second, third time. I don't even know anymore. I'm losing count. Okay, everyone, so it's just, scan disk is stuck. Oh, great, great. I'm pressing the arrow keys. It's just, it's just not doing anything. It's, it's not, it's, it's done. It's given up on life. Okay, then, guys, this video is switching gears again. We are going to install Windows 95. I don't know if you guys can see it there. We're installing 95. We are done with me. We are done with Windows me. We're, we're just done with it. Okay, go die in a hole, me. Okay, so, skip that. Okay, good. It's starting, it's starting DOS. Okay, let's go over to the D drive. Oh, crap, started in the regular mode. We need driverless mode. And why do I keep pressing F12? No, we want, okay, F1. Now, we want to do option three. That is what we want. Now, if we go to the D drive, go to directory. Let's retry that. Now, it should work. Okay, we want to run setup. But I don't remember the correct commands. So once I'm ready with that, I'll be back again. Okay, setup is starting. Please wait while setup initializes. Copying files needed for Windows setup. Now, I don't know if I said this earlier because it's been like a long time. I've been working on this video for like three hours. But um, 
Yeah, so I reduced the RAM because, um, I, I think it's too much for this. Like, I think 3 gigs of RAM was too much, so I reduced it to 512 megabytes. I would reduce it all the way to 128 megabytes, or, like, 256, but the smallest stick of DDR2 sodium I have is a 512 megabyte stick. So I'll be back once this is all done. And okay, guys, yeah, so it is now several hours later, as you can see now. The sun is setting, so... Basically, um, yeah, I had to go somewhere and I took a shower and stuff, so, you know how earlier Windows 95 tried to boot and it wouldn't let me go back into DOS? Well, um, so yeah, I'm not installing 95 anymore. I changed my mind again. This is like, a, it's like taking a turn again. So I have this disc, which I made a while ago, which is a bunch of operating systems. It's Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows 98 SE, and MS-DOS. But it, it doesn't work as a boot disc, so I've never actually used it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this disk and we're going to put it in the computer and we are going to use it to install Windows 3.1. And we just want it to boot regularly because Windows 3.1 is a lot different than any other version of Windows. I actually wanted to install Windows 3.11, which I might do sometime in the future. But uh, for now, Windows 3.1 should work. Retry. Ah. Just read the drive. There we go. Okay, now it's working. It's because the drive was still loading. Okay. So, alright. Um. Well, yeah, because I don't know if you guys can see that, but up there, there's Win31, uh, Win95, and Win98. They all have their own folders. Um, let's do CD Win31. Let's go to directory. Um, I don't know what that is, but let's just do CD my cross. I don't know what it what it is, but let's just go to it in directory. Okay, so now it's taking a while to load. Okay, so Okay, so yeah, this this is the entire directory of the Windows 3.1 thing, so we should hear when it gets to the S's. H-J-K-L-M-N-O-V-Q-R-S. Okay, so the S's are here. Um, I don't see it. There should be setup somewhere. Well, I missed setup, but there's probably a setup. So let's just type setup. Okay, here we go. So, starting setup for Windows 3.1. Yay! The setup program for Windows 3.1 prepares Windows to run on your computer. Gorgeous. Uh, express setup. Express setup recommended. I kind of want to use custom setup press E. We do want to install it to see what well, we're going to do. Windows 3. Point. Eh. Okay, we'll install it to Windows 3.1. I don't want the point. Setup is unable to create the specified directory on specified drive. Why? Okay, can create a Windows directory, but not a Windows 3.1 directory, so... I don't know. Okay, MS-DOS system display, VGA, uh, mouse, keyboard... Um, okay. So, type of switch, language, English, American. Alright, that works. Alright, here we go. So it is now installing Windows 3.1. This shouldn't take very long because it is a very small operating system. Even smaller than Windows 95. Uh, the code page in use by MS-DOS and required MS-DOS code page for Windows 3.1 for Central and Eastern Europe do not match. Oh yeah, this is because the only... because the copy of Windows I have is actually for Central and Eastern Europe and obviously if you guys don't know, I am in the US. So... Uh, yeah, but that doesn't really matter. It, it'll just display a message whenever I boot into Windows, but Here we go Yay Windows setup. Okay, ESMRYK And continue And set up printers Continue Yeah, this stuff's pretty boring It's pretty bland uh screensavers wallpapers miss Okay. 
Now, once this is done, all this stuff is done, I have one test I want to do with this computer, and then I think that'll be it for this video. But, I have to wait for this to be done. So once the installation is done, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, here it is. Magical screen. Reboot. Here we go. This computer is way new to be running Windows 3.1, and it's also way too new to be running DOS. But I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so now, I'm going to eject the disk. Come on. Come out of the drive. Won't come out of the drive. There we go. Here. Here it is. It's OS Master Disk, Windows 3.1, all the other great OS's. And yeah. I just have that there. It's on a DVD. I don't know why it's on a DVD. All of that could fit onto a CD, but whatever. Okay, so let's just go directory. Okay. So, now we can see here we've got a Windows folder. So, that's not what I wanted. Okay, if I could type. Okay, so now if we do the directory of that, we should have win somewhere. Probably going to be at the bottom. Uh, win, 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 win. I don't know where win the exe file is. Maybe, well, maybe it's the com file, but I don't know. But when I type win, it should just start Windows. Windows 386. Yeah, Cannot run Windows in 386 enhanced mode with cur the currently installed protected mode software. Alright, well, here, let's try something. Let's try booting again, but we're gonna boot... I don't know why I'm pressing F12. We're going to boot without drivers and see if it then lets us boot into Windows. Now it will. Okay, so if we disable drivers... So, I don't know why I would want the drivers on there then. Because to do basically anything with this, we have to disable the drivers anyway. So, alright. I just want to do one thing before we're done. I want to see if this computer can do it. Wait, I think I just saw it. Here we go. No! Use the driver's option to control. Oh, man. Well, I don't want to mess with that today, then. So that might have to happen in another video. But I do still want to change the wallpaper to something more appealing. And then I think that'll be it. I'll probably have to go through the DOS and edit some stuff so that I don't have to go boot into the no driver mode uh, pattern. Ooh, this is what we want. I don't know where the wallpapers are located. Ooh, here. Waffle. That's not what I wanted. Waffle. Yeah, that looks terrible, actually. Can I change the color? Weave. What does that look like? Oh, I like that one more. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean... I guess that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If this is the first video you haven't seen by me, go check out all my other awesome videos. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, even though it was insane. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Bye bye